Hi friends, I'm Forrest Woolman, back with you here at the Electric Bike Report. Today I'm going to talk to you about the specialized Turbo Como 3.0 with internal gear hub. I was amazed at how smooth this e-bike rides thanks to its special transmission, dialed in mid-drive motor, and the combination of the front fork suspension and the wider tires that provide great stability and comfort. The Turbo Como, Turbo Como has an assortment of other top-notch components like the brakes, the cargo rack, and an energy management system that keeps the bike from using up too much battery power. Arguably, the Como's greatest strength is its ability to deliver a ride that makes you feel like a superhuman version of yourself. And I really, really mean it when I say yourself. If you have a few gray hairs, bad knee, or maybe you're a younger rider who already spends up hours per week riding a bike, this bike will amplify your own efforts, allowing you to feel like every mile was earned. Yet you'll go far, further, faster, and climb higher than you normally would, and with a smile on your face. So add to that the fact that Specialized has got a 42 year history of producing high quality bikes, and you can see how this e-bike has a lot going for it. Coming up, I will give you a summary of this bike's details before diving into our performance test that really showed us the ins and outs of this bike and all that it can do for the rider. So keep it right here at the Electric Bike Report channel as we continue with our in-depth review of the Specialized Turbo Como 3.0 IGH electric bike. Now, before we get things started, please take a moment to consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell. It helps support the Electric Bike Report channel and enables us to test and review more e-bikes. It will also let you know about new videos we post featuring more e-bike content you might be interested in. Now, let's talk about the specialized Turbo Como 3.0 IGH commuter e-bike. This bike adapts well to its rider's needs. Whether you're looking for a cruiser to enjoy or commute on a daily basis, the Como fits the bill. It's a bike that will withstand many, many miles while providing a pedal-friendly ride experience. This is a Class 1 e-bike, meaning that it has pedal assist motor up to 20 miles per hour and no throttle. Now, a moment ago, you heard me use the acronym IGH. This stands for Internal Gear Hub. Now, you don't see a lot of bikes in the US with internal gear hubs because our market is so saturated with bikes that have derailleurs. And that's a shame because internal gear hubs, or IGHs as you'll hear me say, have a lot of benefits, especially with a cruiser commuter bike like the Turbo Como. Now the internal gear hub has a lot to do with how smooth this bike rides. The Turbo Como comes with its own unique internal gear hub that's likely better than any you've seen before, if you've seen others before. It's made by Enviolo, and it's the Enviolo City IGH. Unlike other internal gear hubs that feature specific gears, the Enviolo City IGH has its own proprietary design featuring a series of bands instead of gears. So you actually have a range of micro gears to suit your specific riding needs. You change gears by using a grip shift, and it's so easy to use. As another added benefit, you can shift gears from a standstill. So no longer will you have to tough start if you forgot to shift down at a stop from your largest gear. Now when set up correctly, this system is phenomenal. We had a few struggles out of the gate, but once we tuned it in, we loved it and how it performed. If you find yours needs a little bit of tuning, there are videos that Specialized offer, or you can just take it to a Specialized dealer and they can adjust it for you. Another great feature is the Gates Belt Drive this bike uses instead of a greasy chain like you see on 99% of the other bikes. Not only does this eliminate the greasy mess that annoys most riders, but it also gives you a ride that's more quiet and smooth, and the belt lasts three times longer than a chain would. The combination of the IGH and belt drive means you'll have far less mess, fewer risks of damage, and you'll go substantially further before having to worry about maintenance. I think you'll really appreciate the finesse of this bike when you have a chance to climb aboard. I haven't even talked about the motor, and this is the heart that makes the bike really do its thing. It's made by Bros, and it's specially tuned for Specialized. This mid-drive motor produces the speed and the torque that this bike needs. Now, motor tuning on a Specialized bike is dialed in to such a degree that it feels noticeably different than on 
any bikes you've experienced before. Obsession over rider experience is what Specialized is known for, and they made sure the beating heart of this bike beats in sync with you, the rider. Now in a few moments, you'll see how this translated in our performance test. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's first take a look at the full specs on this unique and crafty electric bike. Okay, as we've already touched on, one of the big highlights that makes this bike so great is the Enviolo City Internal Gear Hub. Now at the heart of the C-Bike is the 250-watt specialized 2.0e motor, produces an average of 50 newton meters of torque, and peaks at 110 newton meters when you really need that extra oomph. More on that in a minute when I get to the hill climb test with you, but first I want to talk about the battery. Providing the onboard electricity is Specialized's own 48 volt and 11.3 amp hour battery housed in an alloy casing for protection from the elements. Plus, this battery can take you some good distances. More on that in a few minutes too when we cover the range test. One of the things that makes this possible is the fact that Specialized designed and built this battery exclusively for their ear bikes. So you can be confident in what it can do and how long it will last. I also like the quick charging 4 amp charger that comes with it too. The battery is also easily removable, makes for loading onto a bike rack simpler since taking out the battery makes the bike lighter and easier to lift. Moving on to the handlebar, you'll notice the unique shape. It's proprietary to Specialized. It sweeps back towards you, the rider, and it gives you more of a cruiser feel. It also helps you stay upright. But since the sweep isn't as dramatic as a beach cruiser, it makes it a little easier to ride a bit more aggressively if that's what you want to do. So you have the control pad right here for the display. You have the grippy handles on either side and of course the shifter for the IGH system here. And that's where you twist up and down to get the ideal pedal pace for your speeds or climbs. In the center giving you a great ride details is the LCD display and it's specialized own. It's called the Mastermind, and it works with their Mission Control app. Both work together to help you fine tune your pedal assist while also giving you diagnostics on your bike to keep it running just right. If bike security is a feature that matters to you, this app also lets you disable a motor and not unlock it without your pin. So no bike thieves are gonna be motoring away with this one. Replacing the standard rigid fork, that was on the previous Turbo Como bike is the new suspension fork with 80 millimeters of travel providing a more comfortable ride. One of the things I liked about riding this is I could put CST Pathfinder 2.3 inch wide all-terrain tires on this bike. Still had enough clearance between the fenders that I could explore areas that are a little more bumpy and rough than where I would have ridden the older version of this bike. In addition to all the equipment, the Turbo Como comes standard with long fenders, integrated headlight and tail light, and the MIK rear rack system. The rack is compatible with the host of handy accessories from baskets, bags, and more. We also have the optional Cool Cave pannier bags on either side of the rear and front, and an adventure plate. The panniers are heavy duty, install easily, and they also offer a lot of storage. The front plate includes a handy cargo net for securing belongings, and we know how that is on a bike. And it, the thing that we like too is it doesn't extend awkwardly outwards like some do. It feels like it belongs on the bike instead of protruding off the bike unpleasantly like you might have seen with other bikes. So those are some of the great features and some of the examples of what makes the Specialized Turbo Como different from other e-bikes. Next up, I'll talk to you about the performance test results. So e-bikes like the Turbo Como can travel at pretty fast speeds, so we like to make sure the braking is up to the task of stopping the rider in a hurry when needed. This is why we perform the brake test. Now here at EBR, we bring bikes up to 20 miles per hour before hitting the brakes and measuring the distance it takes to stop. We try to brake as quickly as we can while also maintaining control of the bike in a fashion similar to how you, the average rider, would. We do this multiple times and then we take an average of the stopping distance. Now, if you're experienced in riding specialized bikes, then you won't be surprised when you hear me say that our brake test showed us that these brakes work great. The average stopping distance was 19 feet, two inches, 
And that's thanks to the Shimano BR MT200 hydraulic disc brake system with 180 millimeter rotors. This bike also has the center lock system, which helps shorten the time it takes to remove and reinstall the brake caliper. The axle mounted center lock system also locks better to the spleen and improves overall braking efficiency. Now earlier you heard me talk about how this bike rides so smoothly. Well, it brakes really smooth too. And those are two awesome features to have together on one e-bike. Now, in order to gain a better sense of motor engagement, we put the bikes we review on a circuit test. The course is a one mile loop with a small 30 foot climb. We do multiple laps on this course and there's no motor assistance on the first lap. We then switch to the next highest PAS level on the subsequent laps. The PAS modes on this bike are Eco, Sport, and Turbo, three of them. With this, we can see the speed profile of the bike and get a sense of how well the motor engages with the rider, with the pedaling. Here's my biggest takeaway from the data you're seeing on the screen. Specialized 2.0 e-motor was consistent in how it delivered power assistance at each of the three levels. Output increased slightly, jumping up three miles per hour with motor assistance, and another two miles per hour in the highest turbo mode with no sudden burst to make us feel like the bike wanted to jump out from beneath us. In true specialized fashion, the Turbo Como 3.0's pedal assist and mid-drive motor are designed to assist the rider, not replace the rider. Every time I rode this bike, I felt like the Como would take me just about anywhere. Now, depending how your bike is set up, you can use the Mastermind app to fine tune the PAS power levels to actually fit your riding style. If you're used to riding a bike that has a rear cassette and a cable shifter, you will be surprised and happy with what the MVOLO internal gear hub offers. The stepless shifting eliminates the guessing you might sometimes experience on a ride, and instead it allows you to focus on the feel of your gearing while enjoying the aspects of your ride, like the scenery around you. I have to again mention how much I liked riding with the MVOLO City IGH instead of having the shift using the standard derailleur. The Enviolo Gear Hub is the easiest you'll find for riding and makes the ride so much more enjoyable. I think you'll really like this when you have a chance to sit and ride one of these Turbo Como IGHs. Now the top two things people wanna know with e-bikes, how far does it go and how well does it do on the hills? The hill part we'll get to in a minute. But first, in order to find out if this bike could live up to the hype, we did two separate range tests. First, we used the Turbo Como's highest assistance setting, Turbo, and in the second, we used the lowest assistance setting, Eco. We do this to establish a real world value on how far you could get on this bike. Now, in the high PAS test, riding in the Turbo mode, this bike went the distance Specialized said it would, 37 miles. But in the long range test, riding in the eco mode, our result felt short of the 90 mile range they claimed it would go. 90 miles is pretty long range to claim a bike can go with just one battery. And maybe under the right conditions and variables, this bike could. But the 63 mile range this bike did in the eco mode, is pretty respectable considering this bike only has one 11.3 amp hour battery. And as you saw from the circuit test, we received rather meaningful help from the motor across those 63 miles in the eco mode. So all in all, the range tests for this bike were good. I think you'll be happy with how far the Turbo Como will take you when you ride it for yourself. So as I mentioned before, the other question, how well does the e-bike climb hills? So to answer that question, we picked one of the nastiest hills in town that pushes all e-bike motors to their limit. With each e-bike we review, we take our test bikes to the Hellhole Trail. This hill is a third of a mile long, has a 12% average grade, it's much longer and steeper than the average hill a commuter would deal with. But it should answer the question to how helpful an e-bike can be on a hill climb. Like all specialized electric bikes, the Turbo Como doesn't have a throttle, so we couldn't do the throttle only test. However, we were still able to do the maximum PAS hill climb test. Using the turbo mode 
PAS level, the highest level, we were able to make it to the top of the Hellhole Trail in a time of 1 minute 48 seconds and an average speed of 10 miles per hour. Now the big takeaway from the hill test was turbo motor was great considering this is a mid-drive motor with only 250 watts of power. Mid-drives typically pride themselves on two things, natural ride feel and battery efficiency. So the raw times on the hill aren't pack leading, but the theme of the Como is that it allows riders a more natural ride experience. You feel you've earned that time riding up the hills like the hell hole rather than the bike doing it for you like you would get on other bikes. The peak torque produced is up to 110 Newton meters, and that really made a difference getting me and this bike to the top of Hellhole Trail. It was truly awesome. Again, that time is worth bragging about because not only is Specialized Turbo Como 3.0 internal gear hub a smooth riding, comfortable cruiser, commuter bike, but just about any rider, regardless of the athletic level, will be able to earn their way up intimidating slopes like this one thanks to the capabilities of the motor. And that itself is truly amazing. So the Specialized Turbo Como 3.0 IGH really proved itself with its smoothness, style, quality, and its performance in our field test. The geometric design of its ergonomics makes a comfortable home for any rider to nestle in and get a good ride. This bike isn't cheap though. It's in the 3500 and up bracket, but the value here is tremendous as the ride feel and rider enhancing nature are hard to match with other bikes within this price point. The only real con we could find on the bike would be perhaps the handlebar. It splits the difference between a beach cruiser and true commuter bike, meaning it won't be as upright or as aggressive as some would like it to be. The proprietary nature of the design means we don't know how easy it would be to fit a different bar you'd like more, if you can at all. But that's one potential drawback in the sea of praise that we have for this bike. As our team spent a lot of time as a collective riding this bike, everybody had a different takeaway from what they appreciated most. Um, Justin remarked how his mother-in-law owns and loves a Turbo Como despite persistent knee and neck pain. She's an avid peddler who logs tons of miles on this bike and doesn't feel like she gave up regular cycling. This bike makes her feel like the best version of herself. Griffin noted that the attention to detail and how every component adds together makes the bike truly feel whole. The handling, power distribution, intuitive use, and app customization all added up to a wonderful ride for him. Not to mention, he loved the heavy-duty panniers on the front rack for carrying supplies around. For me, the biggest highlight was the Enviolo City internal gear hub. It is hands down more efficient, more simple, and more fun to ride than any derail your drivetrain that's out there. The Gates belt drive is cleaner, it's quieter, and lasts longer than any chain on the market. And the 2.0 mid-drive motor made by Bros that carries specialized fingerprints delivers the power you need when you need it while also economizing on energy consumption. Working with specialized brands, 11.3 amp hour battery, you can go upwards of over 60 miles on this bike and anticipate a lot of smiles on those miles as fun experience increases. And this bike has all the components and fine details worked into it that give it the right to wear the specialized name on it. This is truly a superb bike for any rider to hop on, have an easy time, and really just enjoy the ride. So, I want to thank you again for watching our review of the Specialized Turbo Como 3.0 with the Internal Gear Hub. I hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please click like. If you're not currently a subscriber to our channel, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell. To check our current pricing for this e-bike, there's a link to click in the description below. Also, be sure to click the link to our in-depth written review. It has the details I mentioned today, plus a lot of other information and important stuff. So that's it for now. I'm Forrest Woolman with the Electric Bike Report. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to maybe seeing you out there on the bike trail sometime. And please, please, please remember, keep your hands on the bar, your feet on the pedals, and your eyes on the road. And I'll see you next time here on the Electric Bike Report. Mm -hmm.